Todos los muchachos. Flores, te vas a quedar aquí hoy. Tremendo, yo también. Si necesitas algo, te voy a poner el canal 16. Couple of bolts there. If those people came today, they're the brave ones. Because um, even though the wind is pushing you from Miami to here, which that's a plus, but it's not a delicious navigation time. It looks like they have motor problems over there. Try to get a little spot here. Honeymoon Harbor. This is the harbor right there. Look how beautiful this is. It's incredible. You can never get tired of saying that. You got sharks, you got stingrays. Look at this. You got more sharks right here. Look at that. More sharks. It's like a fitting frenzy here. Look. Yeah, today I'm just going to chill here. When Ty goes down, I'm gonna get my escargot, a little bit of garlic, butter, got some wine, I'm gonna saute it all. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be incredible. I'm already salivating just like the sharks are salivating. Look at this. So many sharks salivating. Beautiful. Pretty deep. I was expecting to be that deep. Ooh. So I gotta wait for the tide to go down so I can get those uh escargot-looking creatures. They're right here on this rock. So the tide is going down now. In about an hour and a half or two. I got some snacks here. So once the tide goes down, I'll be able to get my meal. But I heard when the sky wakes up like this, the day is not going to be good. That's what I hear. Yeah, today it's going to be a rough night here. It's supposed to be raining a lot. I can move my motor, look. Look at that. You see the head of the motor moving? I can move it all the way from over here. That's incredible. I'm about maybe 200 feet away. <laughs> look at that jumbo iwana it's like orange right in the middle of my finger there you'll see her look how big she is she's huge hey little buddy i'm not gonna eat you 
I just want to see how you look like. Wow. She is gorgeous. Oh, there's some cactus over here. I can't go farther. Hey, little buddy. I got no shoes on. Oh, oh my toes. Little buddy, how you doing? There she goes. She is huge. The storm has been pushing all this sand up here. It's made a nice little chill area here. Look how nice this looks. So all this sand you see here was brought to you by the storm. All right, the tie has gone down. So I'm gonna be harvesting my escargot. Uh, the ones that I found, I'm gonna keep looking for them. So the ones we can eat. All right, just uh, scavenging for my uh, meal. And you have to really look for them. It's hard to see them. And these rocks are very slippery uh, to grab a meal. It's very slippery. It's just going to be a delicacy to eat that today. But they're right here on this hole. They like to cling on to those little holes there. So you got to look for them in there. I got what nice one too look at that it's a beauty so you really have to look for them it's very hard to see them especially when there's a uh, water there they're very hard to see so this is gonna be an awesome escargot and look how uh, rough it looks that way yeah, I think tonight we're gonna get some nice storms. Think about a couple more of those. I should have a meal. Look at this big one. All right, there's a storm coming. I need to get that boat on this other side here. I don't like to be in this side. I don't know why. I got plenty of the uh, this type of looking mussels, escargot. So I got a good amount just to uh, have an appetizer on it. 
Awesome. And that storm is almost here. All right, just gotta get the boat over here. make it to that side there before that storm gets here check it out look at that storm out there that's ugly so I'm gonna try to get real quick to the uh, to the harbor Tarp clear What's coming here? Look at this. Boy, that is ugly. I'm going to start lowering the antenna and the fishing rod because if this thing brings lightning, it's not going to be pretty. I gotta get ready. Oh, you listen to that? That's lightning. Shower. If I don't, 
then I just have to wait. No curtain required right now. It's an emergency. It's coming. This will be here in a couple of minutes. Maybe one or two more minutes. I'll be here. I guess it's pretty crazy. Hopefully that anchor will hold at this speed. I'm really close to the shallows back there, but look at the waves, how they're breaking back there. There's two currents here, one coming from this side and another one coming from the other side. So right here, I'm in the middle. And look, the rain is almost here. Look at all those white caps over there. So I gotta be able to if the anchor fails, pick it up real quick. I'm gonna set my uh, anchor alarm. I'm only in three feet of water. I was over there and over there was like five, six, but the wind pushed me to the shallows here. I'm trying to get protected from this uh, limestone cave there. And I don't think the worst has started yet. If you get caught in the middle of the ocean with something like this, this will become an eight footer easy in the middle of the ocean. Eight to 10 feet easy. Look at this right here. I got two foot swells here. Gave me enough time to turn the generator on and to take a shower. Cannot be dirty on a storm. You got to be clean. See, so we got this here, this, and this here, and a lot of the stuff coming out to the front here. So look right here. All this up here. It's on the left hand side, a little bit to the other portion. See, that's very similar to what we have here. And I need to cook. I'm hungry. I only ate some coconut today and some uh, pork rinds. But you see why I left from that side over there? The wind now is coming from this side, right? And it's hitting them on the side there. That's why I don't like to be over there because the wind was all, all this, the wind was coming from this side, right? So these people back here they feel protected, but now the storm has shifted the wind from this other side. So they're gonna they're not sheltered at all. They're gonna get hit from that side. 2.7, 3.0, look at that, 2.8, 2.6 feet. So how bad can it get on three foot of water? You know, so as long as my anchor holds. I should be okay. Look at that. Look at those swells right there. Look at that. Look at that. I tie the rope to the cleat. Yeah, if my anchor fails and I don't act quick. There's a reef right there and that's it. The boat is beached at the reef. The bad thing about this rain is that it's not gonna give me enough time to cook my uh, escargot. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start getting everything ready inside the pilot house so that way when there's a little calm down, I can start cooking the escargot. Uh, been dreaming about this all day. As you saw there on the phone, look at that. The Crooked Pilot House is not built for quality to me because these windows should be leaking. They leak every time it rains. It's, I think it's the engineering. Is this a channel right in here full of water going up and down? See that? Up and down. Even though it's raining somewhat, I'm gonna get the grill out there so I can start boiling the escargots. Um, it might take a little while for them to come out and um, start and start on that right now. 
I'm hungry. All right, so I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Ooh, the lightning. Look at this, look how pretty. All right? I have never seen lightning that you can't see. All right, so the extra rolls are boiling. So now I'm gonna start getting the garlic and butter ready. All right, I got mushroom, garlic, a little bit of onion, butter. And I'm also gonna make me a small piece of steak because I know this is not going to be enough. This is just going to make me angry. Uh, this is new for me. I've never tried it before. All right, so I got all the condiments, garlic, onion mushrooms and i got the butter here i will put it first and i'll put a little bit of mojo citrus blend so that way when everything falls as all the condiments are already in it as long as i have air conditioning inside the crooked pilot house i'm okay because i will hate to be muggy and hot in here it's still raining out there incredible They smell really good. Look at this, how easy I can take the escargot out of the shell. I didn't know that. Look at that. Nice. The whole muscle and everything comes out. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that, how easy it comes out. Once you heat it up, The only part you can eat out of the escargot is the white part. Oh man. No big deal. So, okay, I'm pretty sure I've eaten all kinds of mussels before. What you eat is the hard part. It's the hard muscle. The rest is just the guts. This is just like a, what do you call that, a uh, conch. Same thing, it's a conch. All right, after I clean it up, this is what you eat right here. That white part is, uh, it smells just like seafood. It smells just like seafood. I wanna try a little piece to let you know what it tastes like. See what it tastes like. I'll try this little piece. <laughs> it's a little gummy, but the flavor, mm, the flavor is incredible. It's incredible flavor. I love it. Alright, so this is all that I got from all those shells. You taste all kinds of sea light in here. Remember, this little crustaceans, what they do is that uh, they're breathing the ocean all the time, breathing it. So, look, this is all I was able to get out of it. Pretty good. All that is going to be cooked in the skillet. Alright, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in the skillet, let it warm up, and then I'll throw this up and I'll shake it up, cook it for a couple minutes. I 
hate to cook while it's raining because my kitchen is outdoors it's not indoors i don't have the luxury to have a galley as you see it's raining so no galley it's outdoors There it is. This car go my way. It smells so good. It's incredible. I'm gonna put the steak in. So by the time I eat my appetizer, my steak is cooking. Try a little wine with that. First time eating escargot made by myself. A mega pint of wine. It's not a mega pint, it's a large glass of wine. Mega pint. All right, let's see how it tastes. It's like a conch, a lobster, all kinds of seafood in it. Incredible flavor. The mushroom enhances the flavor of the escargot. An incredible, strong seafood taste. It was worth the time that I invested hunting them down because they're very hard to find. See, this meal is just enough. If I didn't have nothing to eat, like today, I don't have a lot to eat. All I have is a little piece of steak. You're gonna see it's very small. But this is enough. If you eat this, you're done. I mean, you're gonna wake up at three in the morning angry. You're still hungry, but it's gonna help you survive. And it's still raining. All right, this is my main course. Steak, main course. A little bit of A1 sauce on top. All right, look at that. It's beautifully done, not overcooked, just perfect. Flavor, incredible too. Yeah, this is gonna finish my meal. So I had escargot for appetizer and steak for dinner. Look at that. See what I'm saying? Perfectly done. And you know my viewers always complain that I overcook it. This time I didn't overcook it. And it's still raining. It's gonna be like this all night. I guess I'll be watching a lot of movies tonight. Somebody needs to be on watch. Tomorrow will be the fifth day. Had an awesome time. It's been almost a year since I haven't been back to Bimini. What a waste, you know, that I couldn't come here. Well, it forced me to go other places like Tortugas. It was hard to come to Bimini. I would never make it to try Tortugas. So that was one positive thing that came out of it. I was able to go to dry Tortugas. That was an experience that I would like to do again in the future. But in order to go to dry tortugas, you have to have perfect weather. Dry tortugas is more dangerous, way more dangerous, 100% more dangerous than uh, making it to uh, Bimini. There's, there's something about that ocean there that um, a lot of people are very uh, cautious about it.
there's some oceans that like that one that's wide open that if you don't have great weather you can have a problem even though they have rangers there but at nighttime you're there by yourself so they'll close the park at nighttime see you got a little break from the storm there see the little dot got a little break but this is coming tonight so it's gonna be a little bit of rain till tomorrow I'm gonna check here to see how much fuel I got left I've used about 40 gallons and I got 50 gallons left so I got a oh boy we're drifting away So I burned about 40 gallons out of 90, so I got 50 left. So I think 50 will be just right. Uh, I'm probably gonna have about 10 to 15 gallons spare to make it tomorrow. Tomorrow the weather's gonna be really good. So I believe about, I'll have about 15 to 18 gallons of spare, uh, just in case the weather gets rough. It's not that I don't want to get fuel here because it's expensive, even though it's like $7, but it's not that. It's that I have to drive all the way to Bimini and I'll waste uh, more fuel going to Bimini to get fuel. Now, if the weather was rough and I knew I was going to burn a lot more fuel, I would have got a little bit more fuel, but I think we're going to be okay. The rain has stopped for a little bit, but it's going to pick up soon again so have a break it is four in the morning and I want to show you guys how calm the ocean is it's incredible since I've been here this is the most calm that I have seen the ocean while I've been here look at this All right, guys, I'm going to get some rest now, and I'll continue this trip on the next video. Thank you for watching.